Lucky enough to have Pete Townsend himself here in the studio with us. What do you think, then, looking at that film? What do you think of that? What, the Roger Daltrey show? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, it's very good, yeah. There were other three other members in the band, isn't there? Ah. Since Roger in his blue period. Is it? You don't like that too much of him on the screen, not enough for you. I, I didn't actually like Woodstock very much, so it kind of brings back bad memories yeah. for me, yeah. What was it like? I mean, Horrible. it was a long time ago. So what, because it's so big? It was a lot of uh, Americans congratulating themselves on the fact that this festival was going to change the world, and it, I kind of saw through it. I realised that it was a... Well, even when you were there? Yeah. So, uh, there's a lot of political stuff going on in the background, and people like Abby Offman, who I kicked off the stage, because he came on in the middle of the act and started to give people lectures. And, uh, well, I don't know, it was like a very self-congratulatory affair, you know. Yeah, look what we're doing sort of thing, yeah. isn't it wonderful? Yeah. Sort of much like everybody is here today. Yeah, aren't we good, yeah. It's How about... change the world, folks, this program. Oh, no, it's not designed to do... What do you think of what, television? I mean, this isn't designed to change the world so much as uh, Channel 4. <laughs> oh, well, I'm going then. <laughs> uh, what do I think of what? Rock television? Yeah, or music on television. Well, I've really got high hopes for, for, for this program and any that like it, that, it, that it, it sparks it off. I think that there's never been enough space on TV for music. I mean, England and, and uh, the, the base of England as a centre for music from all around the world has always been incredibly volatile and active. And, and what have we had? Like one program, basically, that's lasted a long time, which is record, you know, which is charts-based. Programs like Ready, Steady, Go, which were so great in their time, don't exist anymore. And I just think the more music there is on television, the better. I just think it, you need a tremendous amount of it because there's so, so many great bands yeah. that need airtime. I saw, I saw on Newsnight that you were on the other night and, uh, and a film of you in um, Shea Stadium. And it, it struck me, it's from that film. I don't, have you seen that film since? No, I, oh, well, I was over there. Oh, yeah. Missing, yeah. But it struck me that you really had sort of had enough of it all and of just playing live and stuff and also uh, had enough of Americans. Was that, would that be the right impression? The Shea Stadium thing was very weird because it was like a very big deal, about 100,000 people for two nights. 
in a great big stadium and a lot of fuss and a lot of excitement and I mean strangely enough the Who I've got a very young audience in America still <clears throat> a lot of people had never seen us before so it was kind of exciting but it is something that we've been doing for a long time and for me a lot of the kick has gone out of it so I, I feel I don't know, it's not that I'm jaded or anything, I still really love to play and I still love to perform, but I would prefer to be doing something new. Mm. So however exciting the event was, there's a shade of cynicism in me that sort of says, you know, all mouth and no trousers, you know, it's like, unless you actually go on the stage and you get some kind of musical kick and fulfilment from it, I don't know, it was great to do, you know. Mm. So what, I mean, what are you going to do now then? I mean, hey. Me? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna just gonna sit back and, and for a bit and, and think about what to do next. I am gonna, I think, get out of rock and roll for a bit. I'm a bit disenchanted with it at some levels. But I, I listen. Is it the music? What or I do doesn't really matter. I don't think anymore. It's like I think uh, you know. I'm, one of the things that I love about Britain is is is, is the amount of new music that there is around. That's why I find America so frustrating, is just that a band like The Who are still so incredibly important. You know, when there's so many new things around that, that, that don't get an airing, I think that's going to change. Uh, I want to do new stuff. Uh, I'm really happy about what The Who has done, and I'm happy to look back at it on video. <laughs> but, you know, I just... Well, I want to you, become a bank manager. Yeah? Uh, yeah. Yeah, not a bad idea. Loads of dying, eh? Uh, but I mean, there's, um... The Do you think there's any parallels between you and the jam? There are some... There were some when we first started. But, uh... I think the only parallels are, the, uh, 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 are in the fact that the, the jam are... are modernist oriented yeah. and the who went through a modernist period but certainly we weren't really as true to modernist ideals as the jams seem to be yeah. man over there is just going like that which means we have to please get off no no it doesn't mean get off but it means we can quickly show this show this book yeah, this book which is uh you you probably publish as well as yeah right, it's the and it's on have you met Pete? Mr. Paula, Hello, Pete. Pete. I'm Jules, don't mind me. It's nice, oh, well to meet both. it's nice to meet both of you. All three of you.